The curtain is about to rise and the ballet performance will begin. The artist Edgar Degas was so interested in the ballet and the gestures of the ballerinas that he made more than a thousand drawings, paintings, and sculptures of ballet themes. Here, he shows dancers in the wings, just off the stage. dancer standing and looking over her shoulder. Renoir shows this dancer standing in what is called fifth position. Thank you. 
It's unusual in its size, of course, Picasso painted very few large-scale pictures, and when he did, they are always major statements, and the, the Salter Bank certainly represents that kind of summing up. The realm that the Salter Banks occupy in that picture uh, was actually observed by Picasso on the outskirts of Paris. Um, it's the, the fairgrounds uh, where itinerant performers uh, played, and this is where Picasso was able to watch acrobats in performance. Dugas' Little Dancer, aged 14, is one of the most famous pieces of sculpture in the world, and the single most famous work by an artist who interpreted the ballet with great devotion over the course of many years. Edgar Dugas lived in Paris and went to see the ballet as often as he could. Young dance students worked exhausting hours, practicing all day and hoping to dance on stage at night. Only a few became prima ballerinas.
Dugan knew how hard the dancers practiced to perfect their art. He watched ballet classes, rehearsals, and performances, filling notebooks with sketches to help him remember details. Back in his studio, he used those sketches to create paintings like this one.